we're going to learn about the fundamentals of web design. Web design is the coding, formatting, designing, and creating of web pages. Some aspects of web design include the content, graphic design, and layout of a web page. So if you've ever opened up a website and wondered how it came to be, coders use um, hypertext markup language, or also known as HTML, to code these websites and create fun, interactive um, web pages for us to use. There's also another type of coding called CSS, which is cascading style sheet, but for now we're just going to use HTML um, for our activity. So our activity is the All About Me web page. For this, you're going to need a paper, a pencil, a laptop or computer, or any other device, but I do recommend using a laptop or computer. Um, the paper and pencil is optional, but I would recommend using it. Um, so our activity goals are to make a short, neat, and creative web page about oneself. And we're going to fulfill all the requirements on the next slide, and I will walk through each of them and show you how to do it. You can um, be creative and do more than I um, require, but any which way, just have fun doing it. So first, we're going to take a piece of paper and draw a rough outline of how our web page will look like. Um, right before we start coding it. I often find this is helpful um, and easier for us to code it's because we know exactly what we want from our code. This is optional, but I would recommend doing it. So first we're going to have a centerized header called All About and then your name. And you can create this into a different font if you would like. These are the five font families, cursive, serif, sans serif, fantasy, and monospace. Um, and then we're going to have a paragraph below this, and that paragraph can talk about um, where you were born, your family, your favorite color, anything you would like your audience to know. And we're going to make this into a different color as well. Then we're going to have something called an emphasized sentence. An emphasized sentence is when you um, italicize a sentence and um, it creates, it makes a sentence more important because you're emphasizing it. And in that sentence, we will have a unique fact about you. Then we're going to have an image from uh, inserted in into our web page, and I will show you how that is done. It's very simple once you get the hang of it. And finally, we're going to have our web page be a different background color. Um, you can always keep it white if you would like, or not change your um, font style or your color. But I always find it fun to experiment with your coding. Okay, so we're gonna have this be how, this is gonna be like something of how your web page will look like. Um, this is just a sample. It can look more extravagant than this. It can look simpler than this. It's really up to you on how you would like your web page to look like. And this was the coding that went along with this um, web page. As you may think it, looks a little complicated but really it's very simple once you get the hang of it and we are going to go to something called w3 schools to help us learn um, how to code this is a very fun and easy website and it really explains how to use um, different types of coding of html very well it's a very good beginners website so let's go to that so it will open up this web page called HTML Tutorial. Make sure it says HTML Tutorial and not CSS Tutorial. Then click on Try It Yourself. So as you can see here, um, it gives you a basic layout of how your web page should look like. And first it starts out with the head. The head just tells your um, computer what this web page is about. So let's just tell our computer this web page is about all about, and then insert your name. If you click run, it won't actually change your um, body of your um, web page or how your web page looks like. It just tells your computer what this web page is about. And as you can see here, these are things called tags. 
Whenever you open up a tag, you need to close the tag. And to close the tag, you press the slash button and then the same word. You always need to close the tag. That's very important in coding. Now, as we said before, we wanted to have this um, heading and uh, this is a heading that we can use. And we're just gonna say all about Sophia or just answer it your name and we want to create make make this centerized as you can see this is not really centerized so we're going to make it centerized you open up a center tag and then you close the center tag after the sentence is over you close it the center tag so we can just run that and you can see here that it is now centerized Okay, so if you want to make this into a different font, you press h1 style equals font family, and then you can make this cursive. Make sure you have the quotations surrounding it, and you can see how it looks now. It has a cursive font. I'm just going to keep mine as serif, which is the automatic font that you get. And we're going to move on to our paragraph. In this paragraph, you can talk about where you were born, um, your favorite color, your family, and a random fact about you. These are just ideas of what you can write in this paragraph. It doesn't have to be exactly this, but um, this is just a format of how it could look like. And again, you can see that it changed to whatever you want your paragraph to talk about. Let's say I want to change the color of this. So what you do is open up style again, but this time we're going to put color and Choose a color which you like. I'm going to choose red. And if you run it, it turns red. Make sure you close the P tag. And now we can move on. So this is now our emphasized sentence. To have an emphasized sentence, you open up a tag called EM. And then you open up the paragraph tag again. And then write, this is an emphasized sentence and then close the P tag and close the emphasize tag. If you run it, you can see that it's now italicized and emphasized. If you wanna make this also become red or a different color, you just do the same exact thing as you did before. Color, red. And it's now red. Um, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to insert an image into our web page. You can have any image you would like. Um, I'm going to choose a flower image for mine. So what you do is open image, src equals, and then a quotation. You open a quotation mark. So image, src equals. Now we're going to go to Google. And I just Googled flower image and I found this flower image and I think it would go well with my web page. So what you do is you right click, copy image address, make sure it says copy image address. And you click on that. Then go back to your editor. And what we're going to do is copy and paste it in to the quotation and close the quotation and close the bracket. That's all you need to do to insert a image into your website. And then finally what we're going to do is have a body style. Body style equals background oops, background color. This will tell your computer that you want to have a different background color than just white. And I'm just going to make mine pink, and you close the quotation, and you close the bracket. If you press run, you can see that the image pops up, and it turns into a different color. Um, if you want to change your color again, if you don't think red suits the pink, you can always change it and put white, 
in and it changes it to white. That is all you need to do to create a simple all about me web page. Be creative with yours and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching this video.